Hello everybody, this is James with Inebriated Gaming, and this is our New Year's Day special video slash episode. Uh, this is not a part of the Let's Play, but we are on Edeneb, as you can see. And what this is, is this is going to be a collection of the locations of all of these. These Datacrons for every planet I could get to solo as a level 28 hunter. So, I imagine at least all of the first four planets should be possible. But anyway, this is the first one. We got this when we were leveling. This is in the heroic area on our new planet. Okay. Let me go ahead and stand on it. There we go. Standing on it. Alright, we'll bring up the map screen. And as you can see, for player, which is the character, it's negative on the x axle, negative 656, and positive 44 on the y axle. So it's pretty much right smack dab in the middle of the heroic area. Okay, and I will see you at the next Datacron. Okay, just so you guys know, you can redo the uh, heroics on Ord Mantel, no matter what level you are, and you have the option of the little blue item or three commendations. And you know those commendations are worth a lot to us free to players. So it's actually definitely worth coming down here every time you play and knocking those out real quick because they're really quick and they're all in the same area and it's a quick nine commendations. Okay, see you at the next Datacron. Okay, here we are at the next one. Let me get on top of it. Um, this is a, yeah, look, I haven't got it. Presence Datacron. Okay, come on. All right. I forget what that first one was, to be honest with you. Anyway, this one is right here on the map. See, here's Fort Garnick. Here's the heroic area right here. And here we, here we are. Pretty much right next to where, uh, if you're a smuggler, right, right next to that area where uh, you go to pick up the little canister from the crazy old man. But anyway, that's where this one is. And I will see you at the next stop. Thanks. Okay, as you see on the map, we're down here by this flight path right here, right next to Manit Point. Okay, the reason why I stopped here is to show you how to get to where you need to go. Okay, see that area right across there? That's, there's the, there's Manit Point up there. There's the thing, the, the flight path or the taxi. And there's that little bit of land over there. You just want to get up over there. It may give you a little warning that you're out of the map area or something like that. It'll start killing you a little bit, but don't worry. You'll make it through it, even if you're on foot. Okay. This one, probably one of the harder ones to, to know about. To find out about without using the internets. Okay, and it's also one of the harder ones to get Let's to. Let's have us some fun, Captain. Because it's guarded by a level... Well, I guess that's not too hard. A level six... Uh, gold star guy. So, we're just going to go ahead and one-shot him. Going to take him down! Hey, really? Okay. And those two dudes just run off. They're nowhere. See, so he ran into the ocean. He gave me a loot, a belt, and here is the Datacron. This one is. Let's see, I haven't got this one on this guy either. If it, okay, the Datacron. This is a red matrix shard. That's what it is. Okay. All right. If I stand right on it. Okay, we'll go to the big map, and as you can see, we here's the where we kind of just swam across drove across onto this little bit of land, the far north point of Manit Point. And the coordinates are 779, X, and 8 on the Y axle. Both positives. Alright, and I will see you on Coruscant. Okay guys, we're actually on Tython, not Coruscant yet. Tython, the starting planet of the Jedi. And here we are at a cave entrance at coordinates 
negative 29 x negative 30 y and it's right smack dab right like here's the jedi temple and it's like right down so you just kind of follow the road cut through this area i think that's a question i don't know i've never been on this planet before and there's a cave entrance right here okay and you just go in and you fight your way through this cave there's like these little animals here. I don't know what they are. Birdie killed them. And here's your Datacron. And it is a attribute endurance. So we got a higher endurance now. There we go. And the actual location of this datacron in case you want to try to climb up it from down there which see that guy's right there uh, the actual location is negative 34 x negative 35 y from standing right on top of it all right so i'll see you at the next datacron okay guys here i am right smack dab in the middle of the ruins of Kaleth, and we're just gonna kind of keep headed that way <laughs> uh, west and we come up this this broken down thing and then we go up this thing here and we just keep following this and if we don't fall bad 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 ah, dang it alright let's get back over there I wasn't supposed to fall right there Just kind of stay right here. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. I'm going to walk up it. <laughs> okay. Glad to be back Try in action. That. There we go. And as you can see, there's our statue we're looking for, and there's our data cron. I imagine. Nope. Yeah, you gotta fight him. You just gotta fight all the droids up to this area. And there's our data cron, and I believe this is a matrix shard. No, this is a willpower. Okay. If I stand on it, the exact coordinates are negative 641. X by 36Y, positive 36Y. And it's like right there on the map. Here's the ruins of Kaleth. Here's the Jedi Temple. Here's the main road. Anyway, I'll see you at the next uh, Datacron. Okay, guys, to get to the next Datacron on the big map, you want to take yourself here to this cave entrance. Negative at uh, coordinates uh, negative 135X by 30, positive 36Y. That's where the cave entrance is at. Okay, guys, here we are at the last uh, Datacron for Tython. Here's the Forge Remnant. There's a bunch of those Ravager things around. Those things there. Those. Or Raider. Whatever the fuck they are. Anyway. The Forge Remnants. That's way far south. Basically, where we were from the last Datacron. See this area here? How we came up? Remember, we were right here. We just kind of follow this road. We go into that cave I spoke about earlier and take the exit out and then come up this way to this area right here. This you kind of just kind of keep following the turns on the main area. Turn back in one and right here there's this opening here. That opening right there. Then we just kind of get up here. I know you can do it because I just did it. There it goes. There we go. And this one's got this little walkie thing down there. And where is he at? He's over here somewhere. It's a guy praying at it. There he is. See him praying at it? You gotta kill him. And he 
He's just a regular old war leader. All right. Bye bye, war leader. I'm going in blasting. Got the tools and the talent. All right. And here it is. This one is the blue matrix shard. Yeah. And its exact location. It's good enough. It is negative ninety two X by ninety four Y. And the area that that little turn thing was in from the forest remnants was about to about negative nine no, about negative one oh four. Wait a damn minute. Hopefully I haven't been giving you guys the wrong. It says negative 88 by 923 player. What the fuck is this? Shit, hopefully I haven't been giving you all the wrong coordinates. Anyway, it says... Now it says negative 336 by negative 77. Oh wait, duh. That's the cursor. It says negative 92 by 94. When I'm on it, it says something completely different. I would trust the cursor. Negative 88 to 910. Anyway, the forge remnants come to the, the second lay, the second floor on the other side, on the left side of, of the map, which is the west side of the map. You'll be coming in this way, so you come back down to the second side of the, the second floor, and then make that left, and then jump to the world wall. Anyway, spend too much time on this one. See you on Coruscant. Okay, everybody, we're standing right next to the first Datacron here on Coruscant. It's in the old galactic market, so you don't know. It's right here. Here's the spaceport. You just kind of fly to that. Okay. And you're actually going to land here on the spaceport. You just kind of leave the spaceport, go down the stairs, go out the exit, come all the way down this way, go across the big bridge. Don't try going up the elevator. Just kind of follow the road up and around like this. And then it's right here, and I say, uh, uh, go by the cursor, not by the player. Uh, and the cursor says 2316 Y or X by 1051Y. Um, yeah, I've already went ahead and confirmed. You, could, you go by where the cursor, not the player. So I've been giving y'all the wrong coordinates this whole time. But glad I've been giving you good directions too. So anyway, see you at the next Datacron. Wait, we gotta find out what this one is. Damn it. I don't know what it did. Oh well. Anyway, see you next time. Okay everybody. This one's gonna be a pain in the butt. So you can see we gotta climb this pipe. This pipe where you get onto it at. Right here. Anyway. Maybe right like this. Yeah, that's it. Wait a minute. Anyway, you get onto it and you just follow it to the datacron. Uh, I will uh, not record that whole path unless I come up with come up upon something that I think I should explain. Basically you just follow this this pipe. And it's kind of a long hike. So I'll see you at the data ground. Wait, the coordinates of this pipe, as you can see, we're in the works. Pa pa pa. Basically you take this elevator down to the works, unless you've been here before, then you just come to the flight path on the other side and you make your way. If you're coming in through this way you, you just head straight this way and around. If we're coming in through from the uh, the taxi you just kind of head up this way 
and then you come down through this pipe here or through this tunnel here and then up and up these little stairwell and then back around this way and the exact coordinates of the pipe are Let's put it on the dot. 1172X by 4423Y. And that's where you climb on at the pipe. And I'll see you at the data cron. Okay, guys. This looks like I might. I might. I don't know. I'm going to explain it anyway. If you can see right here on my screen, this is where we jumped onto the pipe at. We followed it up this way. Dropped down. Walked around here. And came up over here. Um, and then we come to a split. And it looks like those things are in our way. So I'm going to go ahead and jump across here and keep on going. Okay, guys. That was the right thing to do. And then basically it just kind of curved around the ceiling. And I jumped from there to there. Kind of walked up. Jumped up on top of that one. Walked up. Dropped down to there. Walked up and dropped down to this little platform. And as you can see, our Datacron is right there. So we're going to carefully make our way over there and here it is and this one is the yellow matrix shard and the last one was a presence by the way alright and I'll see you guys at the last one I believe it's in the Jedi temple see you there hello guys alright here we are at the Jedi temple as you can see other people are headed towards the holocron too this little ramp here's the entrance or here's the elevator coming from the uh, taxi dock area it's not there's nothing to get into the elevator just a little bit of fighting then you come in and you just cut that immediately immediate left and come up to this this pillar here and you just follow this path here kind of jump here so you don't fall jump up here you look over there you can see it right there where my cursor is pretty much right above my guy's head now okay, what we want to do is come around this way then just kind of run around this way and you can't use your speeder here you can't mount here see there we're catching up with them they're doing a lot of fighting oh they wanted to fight the big boss man over here oh, let's see what level are they 17 18 taste a little blaster fire there's more where this came from Now you're dumb, ugly, you and dead. Guy's dead. He's all theirs. Then we just come and come on, come over here and and drop down, drop. And here we are at the Datacron. And it is a looks like a strength. Yeah, strength. Red is strength. Plus two. And there we go. And I don't think I need to give you its exact location. You know right where to go. Um, well, my problem is, is that guy missed. Oh, that was his kitten. Back down. I wonder if they know the way back down. Without dying. So I did it without dying already once. What? You're no longer able to access this. Okay. Yeah, that's the way I went. There's really nowhere else to go from there. Wait, is he trying to jump down that way? There ain't no way down that way. One way to go is to... He died. You see, I barely lived. 200 and something. 
health. Plop. Oh, paralyzed by dropping down. Parawa. Anyway, and we can get back on our speeder now. And that's how you do it. And I'll see you at the next planet. Okay, guys, we're still in the Jedi Temple. I went through this left doorway instead and looked in here. And I put the three sh color shards that we have, one in each one, blue, yellow, red. No. I don't remember what colors they were. Not blue. Red, green, and yellow. Red was there. Anyway, I was missing one of the colors. But there's only three things. And I clicked on this thing in the middle and it made this. So let's see what it is. It's a matrix cube. Let's activate all three panels. Receive matrix cube. Mission item. Okay, I don't know what that does, but that's something. Anyway, it does something. I don't know what it does. Anyway, let's go to our next area, next planet. Okay, guys, we're on the next planet, Terrace. Uh, the first Edicron we're going to go after, uh, you, that I'm going to go after anyway. Uh, you first want to fly to Waypoint Station Morn from uh, the spaceport. That is over in this area, and the spaceport's over here somewhere. But anyway, Tularan Marsh is right there. And then uh, we jump on our speeder. And we're actually going to head up <coughs> north up here. So I'll see you when we get up there. Okay, as you can see, we are at basically 390.17, okay? Both positive, 390x by 17y. I think that'd be about 381.27, the full map. But on the, the map of the area, that's where we're at. Okay, and it's a cave entrance. And the cave entrance is transport station 5. So what I'll do is I'll get to where we need to go, and uh, I'll start up again from there. Okay, guys, we are in way deep. This is where we came in at, okay, down here at the bottom of the map. And we came up the tunnel and up and around all through here, and we're right here. In this big square room right here on this little broken wall and there's a <coughs> excuse me there's a pipe right here you have to jump down to the pipe come over here jump across there and bam there's our data crop and it's a strength one you guys would not believe the trouble I went through to find this place just for it to be one I can't even use. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you at the next hot data crop. Okay, guys, here we are at the start of getting into the next data crop. This one's going to be a little bit longer. Um, I'm right just north of the spaceport. As you can see, here's the spaceport. I'm right here at negative 1677x and minus 109y. So. Yeah, that's where I'm at. And that that's the same for, well, large map is negative 1680 by negative 103. So, and I'm just gonna head straight through this tunnel this way. You see, I'm facing it, there's the tunnel. All right. So we just go straight in this way. In case you need some more reference, that area ought to be familiar to you on Terrace. Okay. I 
can just kind of eh, avoid fighting. Come up this way. Go around this ramp. And as you can see, we've kind of, and we've, we're just following the little path. That's what we're doing. As you can see there, we're just following the little path up this way. That's a little doggy. Up to right here. Okay. And now we are at negative 1365x by negative 214y. Right there. Okay. And we get off of that. How are you? And we jump on and we start to walk the ledge. Okay. And we're going to walk all the way around the ledge until we get to the next part I started recording. Ew, that's creepy looking. Look at that. Okay. We started way over there. All the way around, way over there. Alright, we're here at this first grate. Okay. First grate we can just walk on to. Okay. And then we need to get back up against the wall. Walk over to the second grate. And jump onto the second grate. Here, we're going to drop down this way. Up down to this one, walk along, jump across here. Okay. Alright, we need to get onto this pipe right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and we want to take an angled jump so as not to. Alright, so to minimize the risk of, of missing. So hopefully we won't miss. Alright, we made it. Alright, let me just kind of walk along the pipe. Like so. And then we drop down to that ledge there. Fuck. And then we just keep on walking down the ledge. We're trying to get to this platform right over here. And that ought to be good enough. Because we're here. So once we drop down into this hole. And then drop down to in here. This is like part of a ship. And this is our datacron. You have located a datacron. And natural effort. Aim! This increases our aim. Hey, we found an aim point. Yay. Alright. And I'll see you at the last and final datacron on Terrace. Okay, guys, we are at the part where we start to go get our next Datacron. We are right here on the world map, right next to Tularan Marsh, just east of it. There's actually a little flight path right here. I forget what it's called, but there's a little flight path, like, right around here somewhere. Uh, that you could fly to to get to, and... But if not, there's there's like two more in the area. And you just come to 1171, sorry, 1171 by 263, uh, both positive. Okay. And here is the area map. Here's the Breshix Run Outpost. That's what it's called. You just fly to that. You just come out this way, follow the path up and around this way. All right. And what we're doing here is we are at a pipe. I got a lag. Hold on. Okay, maybe I get rid of the lag. But we just walk up the pipe. Let me back that up a little bit. Walk up the pipe. And then jump down here. And then... And then, just come up over here. Here we are with the lag again. I don't need that lag right now. Cause we got a long trek ahead of us. Up here, jump down to here. Oh, yeah, I killed that guy way down there. And jump here. And you can see the Datacron right there. But yeah, we gotta walk all the way around to get it. So we just come 
running across here. Sorry. You jump down to there. You jump across there. Okay. And you just kind of make sure you keep your footing. Don't fall anywhere. I'll just start all over. And we are here. And we want to get across to that thing. Jump. Oh, don't be lagging out on me. There ain't no damn jump. Alright, pause the recording. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that lag, that periodic lag. I got rid of the companion. Now I am just running around trying to get to my datacron. And here we are with more lag. Uh -huh. I guess they can't come out when we're right here. And we gotta figure out the best way to. Not like that. Howdy. Kapowie. And there's our companion. This miss. Alright, I'll see you when we get back over to that area. Okay, I've made the jump. There we are. Alright, let's go. I don't think this was it over here. No, it's down this way. Down this way. There it is, in sight. Come on now. There we go. Mm, we want to come this way. Just kind of creep along the edge. Here we go. And then let's find out what our datacron is. Natural ability, attributes, cunning. Finally a cunning. Look at that. That's what we're looking for is the red and gold. That's right. Cunning is the coolest looking datacron. Yep. To, just so you know, you don't have to sit here and try to write all this stuff down or watch all this. This is just something I wanted to put together um, for the new year. Um, all this stuff is available on... SWTOR Spy, SWTORSPY.com. It's a really cool uh, tool for you to use to find out, spell where anything is, anything that you need to know. It's on that website. It's a really cool uh, gamer tool for for MMO RPGs. You got you probably got a SWTOR wiki as well that people use, but uh, that's the one I like to use. It's never failed me yet. So here we go. That's our last datacron for Terrace. And uh, for this episode, or for this show, the uh, video, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started uploading it. And I think right after it finishes uploading, I'm going to go ahead and upload the next episode of uh, Let's Play Star Wars Hill Republic with Enab here. And uh, I'll get Enab back to Tatooine. So we can uh, get him started on what he needs to do as far as for the next recorded episode of the Let's Play. I'm actually level 28 here. I don't know what level I am in the next video. Or, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it learned you something. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, that's that. That's this. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.